stats don't always tell the story, but in this case they do. And I told our team, you won't see it written and certainly not talked about and not on Sports Center. But you make 17 of your last 18 free throws, good things happen. Had we, won, had we made 13 of those free throws, I told them, we lose. And everybody might think, gee, we didn't play as well. No, we played just as well. Same game. You need to make those free throws. And they did. And they stood tall. Oh, yeah, for sure. I mean, New Mexico State's they're a great team, a uh, fast-paced team. And they uh, you know, love to get up and out, in and out of transition. So it's kind of it's like the teams in our league that we face. So I think it was a good preparation. But just luckily, we got away with the win. Uh, you know, it's huge for us to go through that uh, at the beginning of the season because, you know, we're going to face teams of pressure later on. And uh, we, we truly got to give a ton of credit to our scout team in practice. You know, uh, it was uh, we were coming off a win and we came out to practice and they basically just handed it to us. They were up just like they had been. Uh, they were up pressuring us every time we made a shot. They were up pressuring us. We worked on this. We got to attribute it to them. But it's huge that we're able to see that we can handle that. Um, this is a great team, no doubt. I mean, uh, Perennial NCAA tournament team. They'll probably win their league again this year. So, uh, yeah, this this one probably feels the best just because it was a through and through victory. Seventy five points and and them scoring, taking it to the rack. That's not a good recipe for this team. They overcame it, and once again got great play from our our uh, substitutes. Uh, but like I told them, guys, you have the toughest job. There's seven, eight of you. Uh, you might play zero, you might play 18, and somewhere in between. And then the next night it might be flipped. But they care. They care about the right things. I, I, th I think we were willing to run. Uh, you know, coach always says, you know, know when to hold them and fold or fold them and go. And so I, I, th I think we did pretty well. I mean, Josh gets out in the open court. I tell him to go all the time. Um, you know, but I, th I think we made smart decisions. And I think that's why we won. They're, they're up there. They're, they're an extremely good team. They, uh, they came out and they were much more physical than, than we expected them to be. And uh, we had to adjust to that in the first half. But, uh, you know, they're, they're an extremely good team with extremely good players and an extremely good staff. So, you know, this, this is a huge win for us. Uh, you know, they've been to the NCAA tournament, I think, four out of the last five years. So, you know, what they do speaks for itself. Uh, you know, it's a great team. Mexico State's press is, is really good. I mean, they work on it all the time. And, uh, you know, what we saw. Uh, we saw what we uh, we saw tonight exactly what we saw in the film, so we thought we were really prepared for it, and we knew what they were going to do. And you know they're going to try to hurry us, and we, you know, just like I said, no one to go out and transition, and no one to not to. I, I respect the heck out of Coach and his team. They have five veteran players and a sprinkle of some young ones like us. They've been through wars. They will win a lot of games this year. And yes, I felt like the whole game. Uh, it was being played. There was a physical confrontation every single possession, whether it was offense or defense. A very difficult game to referee. Uh, yeah, Junior really put us on his back in the first half, and then we needed somebody to step up in the second. And uh, uh, it felt great. It felt great just to know that it's possible. You know, yeah, you always have those doubts in the back of your head. Well, am I still this? Am I still that? And it was nice to kind of answer that tonight. It's encouraging, but somebody just handed me a folder at Denver, so it's discouraging too. Um, it just keeps going. And, uh, but we needed to put four, five, or six of these teams, uh, be at home, away, uh, in this Dece November and December. And so hopefully these guys pass the first two tests. We got to pass the next one. I'll start watching them in the morning. I only know that we've played them four times in my career. Got my first college win against Marty Fletcher's team, and that was uglier than homemade sin. We've played them three times since I've been back, and with two minutes to go, nobody has known who was going to win.